Hey, what's up guys? It's Toby here um, from Gaming Now. Today I'd like to um, talk about some ideas I have for um, the F1 game, you know, F1 2014. And I've been thinking of this a while, the things that I think could improve F1 as a whole, because most of us F1 fans know 2014 is the biggest change we've had for a long, long, long time. And... Uh, as a result, Codemasters have got, you know, a mighty task to produce something as exciting as this as this big change was to all its fans and drivers and everything like that. So a few of my ideas <clears throat> include mainly some things I feel should have been in F1 2013, not just coming in for 14. Like small things would be enough to please me, um, knowing you endo intended. Um but like um, teams' garages moving about in coordination to where they finished in the Constructors' Championship, like in real life. Um, I'll use 2013 for an example. Mercedes were, I think, fifth at the end of 2011, and first started down further down where you see them on here in the pit lane order. And now the second, just behind Red Bull, because they finished second in 2013. Um, I mean, 2012 they finished fifth, yeah, that one, but. So that would be a nice little feature. Now, personally, I'd like to see driver movement, you know, from team to team, but that is impossible. Stephen Hood has confirmed this on Twitter, saying the F1 license does not allow them to do this, which is a bit of a shame. Um, what else is this? The, there's also um, in practice sessions. Like, we have a big an hour session in the game, but we use, what, about five minutes of it to do some R&D, and then we leave, and go to quality. Now, R&D is like an option for R&D to be more time consuming, like not just having to do three laps and be done with it, like having to do ten laps or something like that. Um, and I'd also like to see reserve and test drivers in um, practice, like, this year we've seen the likes of Felipe and Nazza, Testing for Williams, um, and all the other people. I can't actually think of any off the top of my head. I do apologise on that one. Uh, but I'd like to see some test drivers like uh, Robin Frines and people like that were in the Young Drivers test on this game. But the Young Drivers test never used more than once. So. I'd like to see that, like seeing Felipe Nazza testing for Williams, and like maybe Susie Wolf testing for Williams, and Simona Dil Silvestro testing for Sauber, and you know, little things like that would be a really nice feature for them to have, I feel. Um, another thing, like we're watching here, me playing Jules Bianchi uh, at Monaco, and as most of us will know, he just scored his first points in Formula 1, so did Marussia at uh, Monaco. The Grand Prix. Now, I'd like to see a scenario where all out chaos can happen, especially in Monaco. And thanks to this, the little teams have a big chance. Now, that'd be a really cool feature. And also, I'd like to see more engine failures. Like, I've been playing F1 Championship Edition for a while. And there's more engine failures on that than there is through F1 2010 to 2013 and I'd like to see more of that because oil leaks on the track and that and it really mixes things up. It's a really cool feature to have. Another thing I'd like to take from Championship Edition is the parade laps. I'd like an option for them offline and online because the pressure of maintaining your engine temperature, oil temperature, brake temperature, tire temperature, everything on the ways you go around that it really adds to the tension as you pull it up on the grid which I find really cool other than just you know simply spawning on the grid and going from there. I'd really like to see that. Um, I'd like to see young rookies rise and fall in terms of their performance. Like more, Basically what I mean by that is I want more driver characteristics. I want drivers to be more like they are in real life. Like I want Daniel Ricciardo to outshine Vettel. Um, I want Maldonado to be a very dangerous driver to be in the air. And I want people like Adrian Suttil, who are very aggressive, don't give you much space and just don't consider you in terms, in, you know, terms of they will go for that move. I don't want AI where 
you have the door open for them and they have the option to take it and they don't you can just carry on going and they will always they will never outbreak you now with F1 2014 being potentially next gen I think that's very possible to make the AI a lot more real true to life AI mod on PC is a start a little tweak such as I like the realistic LEDs mod from the PC version that'd be very nice because the standard blocky LEDs you're seeing on the um, rev limiter here are a bit a bit naff um, but Another thing I really, really, really been wanting for a really, really long time is a helmet and gloves designer. Now, every driver has their own helmet and has their own gloves. It's who they are. It, it helps define who they are. And especially for me on my career, I signed for Mercedes AMG Patronas and I took Nico Rosberg's seat. And he's got these stupid bright yellow gloves. And this season, he's got stupid bright turquoise gloves. So I don't want to be put off taking a seat just for the fact my driver looks like he works for McDonald's or something while he's driving the car. I want to design my own for each and every team I go to and make it look really cool. Now that's something Stephen Hood said he is warming to. So fingers crossed it comes into the game. So yeah. I want to see maybe an option for pre-season testing or something like that would be pretty cool to have if you're trying to make the game last longer also I'd like in Australia a lot of engine failures like while the teams are getting used to the cars and things like that another thing I'd like to see with next gen is when an AI or another player wrecks or something like that and the safety car is out or maybe it's just yellow flags under that area I'd like to see like marshals clearing the wreckage like a crane being like slowly lifting it up over the railings as you pass it under safety car or something not it just despawning in front of you because for me that's really really crap and I don't like that because there's no sense of danger there like in real F1 you'll have to watch out for debris you'll have to watch out and go slowly as you pass the marshals on here it's just you can keep going flat out because the debris the all the debris all the rubbish no marshals on track and the car just despawns so it takes away that sense of, you know, concentration, which is annoying. Another thing I'd like to see improved cameras. Like, the standard cameras are alright, but I will only ever use this camera I'm using now, the TV cam, because it's the only one I like. The rest are a bit, like, I'd like to see more options. Like, I'd like them to, even if they signed a deal with the uh, modder who made the more cameras pack for PC, because he has some really good cameras. He has, like, three different cockpit cams. He has close to the steering wheel, far away from the steering wheel, a normal steering wheel. And same, like he has different TV angles, like the proper ones. Which would be really, really cool. I'd like to see interviews from 2010 and 11 return. That would be a really nice feature because the team react to what you say. Say if you was driving for Ferrari and you said the car's awful, whatever, whatever. The team would not be happy with you. And you'd perhaps just, like get a warning email or something like that. And it could affect your career, if you know what I mean. Also, if you praise the team, they praise you, and it'd all go really nice. I'd like to see what would be really cool, if they could do it, is potentially, from Championship Edition, the podium celebrations. Now, with the next-gen graphics, they're going to be able to render these characters to look like the real thing. And it's going to look really cool if we have podiums, like, if you're British, <clears throat> or German, or whatever, and you win a race and like you see your character you get maybe some preset heads or maybe even they could have this feature that a few games have got and I think next gen is implying it quite heavily you know like the um, webcam style thing where it can model your driver's face after your face or something or maybe just some preset faces you can choose to look, which look like you and you see your driver there you know standing arms behind his back looking up in the sky whatever while it plays thingy and then you see him spraying champagne or something and maybe a little interaction with the champagne like keep tapping X to pop the top off the champagne and spray it and whatever. Something like that, just make the game and you know a little more user friendly would be really cool. Because F1 career gets a little boring because it's the same thing every season just with another team. Which is, you know, good, but it's not great. Um something for arcade style. For the people who like it arcade, you don't take the game, you know, completely seriously. Like from Championship Edition and the Quick Race, you could rearrange the grid order before you started. 
and stuff like that. So some arcade stuff like that would help. Um, what else would they be? Uh, safety car. Uh, there's not really much I feel they can improve on the safety car. I think they've got that really dead on. But I want to see mo um, a higher probability rate of the red flag. Because I have never, ever got a red flag on an F1 game before. Made by Curb Masters. I have never got a red flag. And the only way to really get a red flag is to park your car at a chicane and don't let anyone through or whatever. But even when you try to do that, you'll get disqualified, which is a bit crap. So, hopefully they can, you know, make something to do that. And that's really all the main things. The rest is just little tweaks, like I said, with the garages, glove and helmet maker. I think that'll bring a lot more attraction to the game. And maybe add something like Forza has. Um like a storefront so you can make a helmet and gloves and put them on there and other players can download them you can share it with the community like a community hub thing which for those people who don't want to spend time making the road and personalizing they could just say oh I like you know I like that one I'll take that one and wear it for the rest of the season and it'd be really cool as it would help a hell of a lot now there's not obviously the F1 contract is very very strict um, so they can't do like driver changes, like I said, teams rising and falling. Well, they could do teams rising and falling, which would be all right. Would be good, add diversity to the season. But I want to see guaranteed for the first season, the first genuine season you do, Mercedes dominate for at least the first half of the season, so you get that sense of realism. But then for the second season or whatever, teams move up and down the grid. Like maybe Marusha have a reasonably good season finishing in like qualifying in Q2 or whatever, or vice versa. And like maybe McLaren, oh well they've already really had one so I'll use someone else like um, Red Bull or someone like that has a downfall you know of a season like McLaren or Williams have been having for the past few seasons and stuff like that would be really really cool. Now. Testing could be something, but that, that's a bit daft. I didn't like testing in the Championship Edition. I wanted, you know, I wanted to get there. I wanted to race. I wanted to do all this. Um, there's some things I'd like to add, like, but I wouldn't add it to F1 because it's not F1. Like, I'd like G. If you had GP2, and then you'd be in the GP2 Championship, and then you'd get an email saying, "Hey, do you want to come drive on the Friday for practice?" And then you do that and wait, wait up to a race seat like that. But I wouldn't put that in F1. One, because it'll never happen because Stephen Hood's confirmed this, and two, because it it's not F1. It wouldn't be F1. It'd be GP2 slash F1, if you know what I mean. This is about the top level. But I'm confident Codemasters will do a good job of this, and. Uh, it really will be good to see how they do it, what they do it, and why they do it. Um, I'd like to see... I'd like them a lot more community-based help. As for classics, if they are to continue classics, which I'm thinking is quite slim, if they do. I don't think they will, but there's a slim chance they will. I'd like to see better tracks. Estoril was probably the only classic track I really liked in the classic pack. I like the 90s cars, but I didn't care much for the 80s. But maybe they could try something like they had Nicky Lauda's Ferrari in there, so maybe they could try his 70s pack for some 70s layouts of tracks and stuff like that, which would be really, really cool. And they definitely need to get the rights to Senna because Polyphony have just launched their Senna DLC, and it wasn't. It was re it was very, very, um, very, very anticlimactic. Um, it didn't. Like, when he announced it, everyone was really, 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 you know, wow, this is going to be fantastic. This is the best thing Polyphony Digital's ever done. And then when it arrived, it was like, yeah, all right. It was fun to drive the car, but the handling characteristics, especially of the Lotus 97T, wasn't head on. So I'd like to see them get the rights to Senna and maybe some other drivers like that. I'm like, so, like, 70s, 80s, now, even, I'd like even maybe a, um, a 50s pack. Like driving Fangio's uh, Mercedes and that. That'd be really, really cool. And these Maserati and things like that. Like a classic Monaco with no barriers. 
That would be a really, really cool idea. But... I'd like to see also increased car failure. Like, you get cars offline every, like, ten races, but, you know, that could be increased. So, like, your turbos fail, please box and retire. And whatever. But anyway, guys, this has been the better half of 15 minutes of me rambling. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.